So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges for Destiny 2, specifically for Witch Queen. I usually do these every week, and I also like to add uh, the Eververse just in case people are interested. So if you guys like the videos, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. But let's get right into it. First and foremost, Operational Outburst Week 2. You can do the second part of the seasonal uh, story, which is pretty cool. I haven't done it personally myself because I'm still trying to complete the story for my Warlock. I kind of lagged a bit, so that sucks uh tug of war defeated a hive warden of the spring and a scorn light flare in the well spring so this one shouldn't be too hard it sh literally should be up right now you should be able to do this right now so just uh go up to this well spring and then just complete it and look out for these two enemies run the worms complete the exotic quest of queens and worms to obtain a new exotic weapon this is not too hard this is the worm exotic grenade launcher that uh, you could get after you complete the story. So just com continue on with uh, the Queen's uh, missions, not the Witch Queen, uh, Marasov. Com continue with Marasov's missions and you'll eventually be able to get this. It's actually a really good one as well. I highly recommend it. Uh, weapon Shape 1, craft a weapon using the weapon crafting system. This literally, just craft any weapon you want. It could be the cheapest one you want and you'll get it immediately. Back home again in the Cosmodrome, earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. For this one, I would most likely get the bounties from what's his face? I forget his name. Uh, get the bounties from him and then just do lost sectors. I personally would stay away from public events just because they're annoying, but they, if I remember correctly, they do give you the biggest chunk. And patrols, I, I hate patrols, so. You could do you could literally do this however you want i like i said i will probably just do bounties and lost sectors with the sprinkle of patrols and if i'm in the area i'll do a public event uh lost in the legend complete a lost sector on legend or higher this is not well depending on how what player kind of player you are this actually might be really hard or this might be really simple this is going to be a little bit easier once you get more levels in you because the legends legend and higher are pretty difficult uh especially if you're lower level bank kill repeat earn points by banking modes defeating blockers and defeating guardians in gambit this one shouldn't be too rough although people don't like gambit which i completely understand this one just play the game however you want uh i wouldn't be surprised if killing guardians uh gives you a little bit more boost but this one you should get eventually and if you're doing weekly bounties for this then you you probably will already get this like for me for example i ended up getting this one just from doing my my two characters weekly bounties just from i think i completed this with a one character although this one is a little bit more challenging but this one should be quite simple considering it's stuff you're doing in the game Scorn Pest Control, Defeat, Scorn Combatants in Vanguard Playlists or Strikes, Earn Bonus Progress for Defeating Tougher Combatants. Uh, this one, I don't know if this one's going to be annoying or not considering how the Vanguards are these days, uh, specifically the Strikes. I think there's like one or two Strikes that have uh, Scorn now. The good news though is that if you really don't want to like click on the Vanguard and wait for one to pop up, you can just go to here. No, I can't even do that yet. Oh, where is it? Dreaming City has a few in the beginning uh, for the Corrupted, but it only has a few in the beginning. I think the Warden of Nothing doesn't have anything. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't know, like off the top of my head, which which strike has a bunch of them. There's there's one in, in Savathun's throne world, I know, but I just can't go to it because my character hasn't even completed the second mission yet. Um, or where are we going? Oh, defeat guardians and mayhem playlist with your super abilities. This one's not too hard. Mayhem is super fun and it's you literally get your super so, so fast that you'll get this without even thinking about it. And then last but not least, calibrate close range weapons, sidearms, uh, some machine guns, shotguns, glaives, and swords in the Cosmodrome. Bonus progress for rapidly defeating uh, combatants. So you're going to want to pair the close range calibration with the back home again, because obviously these two are you're going to be doing them at the same time. Uh, so at that point, I probably wouldn't pick up bounties because it would conflict with some of the weapons that I'm doing here. So then at that point, I would probably just do lost sectors and patrols and then actually try to go for public events as well, maybe. 
as for eververse she has a pretty good shader real treatment i already got it and yeah like i said this shader is pretty really it's pretty cool unfortunately i don't think it looks good that good with the, what i'm wearing right now but as you can see right here there's a really cool gold trim on like the purple there's a lot of colors i really fuck with in this one or that's which is why i like it a lot there's a gold trim right there there's like this purple almost bluish hue here it's like almost dark teal here and then the purple i think looks amazing so highly highly recommend this one you get the let's mercy for from season of the hunt which is the ornament for the chainsaw sword i forgot what it's called the lament there we go uh this one looks really cool it's just a shader difference though so you literally like i think the only thing that's actually like different from this is cloth here and i think that's it because everything else is just shader um uh, i don't know why this is popping up and for the bottom we have Le monarch's ornament the only ornament it got so if you don't have it and you want it you can get it right now you can get the arms for the warlock the flight of the interceptor i'll have the other ones up here maybe but that's pretty cool uh dual engine retric capsule it's a ship and then vehicle and then ghost shell so not a lot of things happening here this week unfortunately like i said in my eververse video eververse tends to usually uh sell stuff like at the like the third or fourth week or like a month in maybe so unfortunately we're not going to see anything new for a little bit but as for shaders we have amethyst bloom which i don't remember this one off the top of my head yeah i'm not the biggest fan of this one just because like the pink is just kind of like gross looking in my opinion uh bloody tooth oh i would recommend bloody tooth guys this is a good shader bloody tooth is uh if you want to go for like a really dark like at red i don't know what it is the red just looks weird but it's a really good black shader if you if you're looking for black shaders this is a really good one sometimes you'll get lucky and it'll just be black which is really dope uh this also doesn't look terrible uh, my only gripe with it is the fact that for some reason bungie likes when when there's a red shader they like to make the glow blue for some weird reason and then last but not least 44 steel this one's actually pretty good if i remember correctly yeah i so the reason i say it's pretty good is because top here up here it looks so fucking beautiful this black with this like brown not bronze copper copper maybe uh this color combination up here looks super cool everything down here just looks a little too saturated in my opinion or not saturated but too much uh too much of the bronze not enough of the black but if you get a sh if you get like an armor set that has like this this kind of combination where it's more black than bron than uh copper then it's gonna look super dope that's pretty much it for your weekly stuff obviously i had i haven't put everything that the weekly reset offers like for example where the things are like where the legendary lost sectors are what what week it is what week is what, what week it is in dreaming city i don't really do that just because there's other videos that do that and i don't think there's enough videos that talk about the seasonal challenges and ever versus just for me as well so that way i can look at what she's selling so let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh i will not be running the day one raid only because a i fucked up and my my warlock didn't get leveled up which means i'm gonna be uber level like under leveled when the raid comes out and b my raid team already make it made a team by themselves and didn't include me which is fine considering i wasn't playing destiny 2 at all uh so i'm not really that mad about it i'm a little sad about it but not mad so but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i thank you all for the constant support and i'll see you guys later